Let us continue with the relational calculus. In the previous video, I explained about the tuple relational calculus. Now, let us see what is the domain relational calculus. So, this domain relational calculus is a uh, non-procedural query language just like uh, TRC. A non-procedural query language equivalent equivalent in power to the tuple relational calculus okay so let me write the definition for this the domain relation calculus always this here it takes the attributes x1 x2 up to xn or p of x1 x2 up to xn so here x1 x2 up to xn represent domain values so those are the values that were present in the particular attribute and the it's a call in the tuple so in the table x1 x2 xn represents the domain values so the values that are present in the cell so domain values and p represents a formula it's a predicate, a formula similar to similar to that of predicate calculus. So just similar to that of predicate calculus. So x1, x2 up to xn, you just call it as a domain values, the values that are present in the table and p is a predicate calculus. So let me take some examples for this domain relational calculus. So here you have seen that. Uh, just see this. Here find the names of all instructors whose department is in Watson Building. So just the same examples that are uh, explained in the TRC. But only the uh, difference is just the query whatever we are writing that is different. So that is in TRC and this is in uh, just using the DRC. So what is this TRC and DRC? Uh, there I am writing the query with the help of uh, by selecting the tuples. But whereas in domain relation calculus I am writing the query. Uh, I just I am selecting whatever the values that I want exactly. The domain values I am selecting. So find the names of all instructors whose department is in the Watson building. Okay. So here I want to select all the names. Find the names. So that's why I am taking N is a name. So first I declared this N. So it will select all the names. All the names. N. So those names that are uh, present in the department and that belongs to the uh, Watson building. So IDS. So IDS is the ID and the department and the some uh, surname like that. So all the fields, attributes. Uh, just you take it as a values. Okay, the values that is IDS. So these all values belongs to the instructor and some values that are belongs to the department and that B whatever the main the key value that should be Watson. So those values those names I have to be selected. For that that is this is the equation. And the next example is find the set of all courses taught in the fall 2009 semester or in the spring 2010 semester or both. So the same example. But the expression will be different. This is the domain relational calculus. So I have to select the set of courses. All courses. So just that's why here I, I take in C. So this represents a set of courses. This set of courses can be get with this expression. So there exist some values, some domain values. A, S, Y, B, R, T. And these values are belong to section and s is fall and y is 2009 this condition has to be satisfied or it has to satisfy this condition spring and the y is 2010 so whenever this condition is satisfied those values that are uh, satisfying this condition that will be displayed so that is a set of all courses so this is about the domain relational calculus thank you